for a minute. Just look at it. And tell me what's wrong with it. What's wrong with that installation? If it was your house, what would you complain about? First of all, it's not centered right on the structure. Okay. That's number one, it has more overhang on one side than the other. All right. Ah! The drain just goes to the, the roof. The drain is not yeah, draining right. Gutter, right? Oh, How did you know the drain down. wasn't working? All the marks on the roof. Look at the roof. Yeah. You can see the water marks. <laughs> the drain's not working. I want to locate the drain right there anyway. Down. You know why it's not working? It's broken! <laughs> the pipe you can look right there and see it's oh, broke. Yeah. That's why the right top, top, right? It broke the drain. <laughs> really? Now, if there is an earthquake, a uh, fairly big one. I do not want to be in that room. <laughs> Why? Because it's part of the hey, water man, party all the remains of the roof. Not the water. <laughs> the water probably yes. rotted all the... Look at the unit. There's one other major screw up on that unit. Look at it. Imagine an earthquake happening. It's not braced. What's going to happen? It's, it's not tied down or anything. It's braced. Okay, what's going to happen is that there's a gas line on that. Oh, shit, that it's too. that flexible tube. <laughs> there oh, is no good, support then. underneath that gas line. So that gas line is going to swing back and forth. It's going to snap and it's going to front log. Raw gas is going to go right into our room. Right off the roof. Yeah. Let's step over here for a minute, then we'll go to the cafeteria. Okay, look up, what do you see? The lowly window air conditioner. The window air conditioner that a lot of people don't want to work on. They don't get enough money off it. So some companies won't do it. When I worked, we worked on all our units. A couple things important. Notice, this air conditioner is bolted to the frame. You can't say the same for some of the other ones. One of the things I'll tell you, you're going to get a customer, you're going to have a window air conditioner, you're going to have to pull it out of the wall. Usually you leave the frame and the guts come out. One of the things you learn real fast is which side the compressor is, is on. You always make sure the customer gets the compressor. Uh -huh. So when you pull it out, they go, oh, this is heavy. Oh, yeah, it's really heavy. And when you put it back in, you have the customer put the compressor in. That way they appreciate the work you're going to to work on it. You never take the light side. You always learn which side has the compressor and have the customer pull that side out. Teach There's that about a, a 15, 18 pound difference between oh, the two yeah. sides. Those things are heavy. Okay, window air conditions have to tilt downward so that the water that's produced in the evaporator runs out of evaporator through a tube to the back. Then there's a metal ring. It's called the slinger ring. And the water is picked up and thrown on the condenser. So your condenser actually gets water cooling. That enhances efficiency. But when you pick up the water and throw it on the condenser, what else is going to happen? Steam? Dirt. Dirt is your enemy. You're going to pick up dirt and you're going to plug up that condenser. So that unit's supposed to be cleaned every year. So now how many people... Do yeah. they have to be tilted back a little? They have to be tilted back a little. Like this. So they'll drain, yeah. It doesn't look like that one. It looks like it's tilted forward. It is. It's tilted back. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, Half bubble. Yeah, we have some of these in our, one of our properties. It sucks. Wow, they're bigger than these. Because they're big units. They're big yeah. units. But they're like in vaulted cities. Way the hell. We got to get stanchion ladder and pull those up. I hate those. Yeah, they're right. Yeah, hate those yeah. things. They're heavy. They're heavy. Yeah. These are small compared you, to the one that we have. You fucking hate those. Yeah. All right. Now, <laughs> these are small compared to the one they that are. we have. I never noticed this before, but I just noted a deadly situation. That, Can you see what it is? That coupler's not on the pipe. The coupler, right? you come up here for the pipe, and somebody plays with it, vibrates it, shorts it out, goes to ground, knocks out half the system. That connection is supposed to be tight. And look over there. You have another electrical cap <laughs> that my code is missing the screws open. 
It's open to water. Little kid can wander up here and put his fingers in there. Bad, or, bad. Or his Capri Sun. <laughs> oh yeah, sports oh, yeah, soda in there. Just... Kids don't waste their Capri Sun, come on. It's bad. You see? You just look for things and you'll see bad things. Hey, I mean, can, can they get a number for this? Like, let's say you call, oh, what do we call OSHA? I know nothing. It could be an anonymous whistle. I know nothing. This <laughs> <laughs> my gentleman, we're going to back with. Burris didn't tell us anything. I know nothing. We just noticed we were getting plenty of evidence for it. <laughs> I didn't say, no. Burris said it. Is today Friday? Today's Friday. I know nothing. Today's Thursday. Really? Yeah. Oh, we'll make it a Friday. No, I don't do that. Oh, yeah. the hot already did. Okay, already did. Did you work on Friday first? I don't. Only at my house. <laughs> or my son's house. Hey, oh, what's that? BAC. What is that? Burst. And, uh, BAC. That is the Baltimore Air Coil. That's oh, okay. the tower. Oh, you know what? You guys saw the little round tower, right? There's a big one right there. That tower. Sprays one once. The AC right there in front of you. A tower. A tower. Oh, they have that big tower over there. That's what that oh, they think of. There's a tower there. Now listen. What do you hear? Reciprocating compressor. Come on over here. And ministering. Go ahead, yeah. All right, I want you to put your hand down here. That air feels pretty warm, doesn't it? It does, buddy. It does leave you. Yet it's only about 70 degrees. You know what that tells me? I walk by here, put my hand here, and this unit's got a dirty condenser. Now look behind. Sure enough, I want you to walk around. Don't kill yourself if you step on it. Look at that condenser. It's filthy. This unit runs all the time. It runs too high, this is too much amperage, it's a filthy condenser. I got a It's like a baby cup. This is an air conditioning unit? This is a refrigeration oh, unit for the side. That's bad. It's filthy. Yeah, that's bad. Now wait a minute. This unit has four pipes going to it. What kind of system we know has one compressor and four pipes? Toys and stuff in here, but people, people can't help but touching themselves. And what happened was, they break off parts. It's a crazy thing. I had a perfectly normal student come in today to my electrical class. He picked up a unit. I have a little training in it. He plugged it in. It started, and he put his hand deliberately in the fan. And the fan hurt him. And he looked at me. I said, what do you expect? You put your hand in the fan. You're, you're stupid. Out of class, 30 minute cool down. Get outside, think about what you could have done. You could have made me write medical reports. I would have had to call the police. The nurse would have had to come. What were you thinking? Why would you put your hand in a fan that's even hurt? Next time, come to me and I'll beat it for you and we'll save the middleman. <laughs> Condenser is underneath you. Right now, there's a water cool condenser and a four foot long screw compressor. It's right underneath your feet. Okay. It's in a pit. And then what is that? That's the tower that gets rid of the water that's hot 
and cools the water down. Oh, that's only a water tower. Only a water tower. So that's why it's humid then. Yeah. Right. Which ones are the trees that died? They pulled them out. Where were they at? Over here? They're right over here in the center. Yeah. Three or four big trees there. Just as big of the ones as this one. 